this video isn't easy to make for me, but I feel that the following information is important to share. And even though I hope most of you won't need this information, it is very important to be aware of. Because me too. Me too, I've been sexually harassed multiple times and the following examples I will give you are not even all of the examples. I've been groped, not just in clubs, and you might think, oh, it's a club, that happens, but it's not supposed to happen. Like, I shouldn't have to go out of my way in order to not get groped. I've been groped in the subway as well. And even though I was pretty loud and clear about him telling him, like, don't touch me, he did it again. And you might say, that guy was drunk. And you might say, oh, but he was drunk. But he still should not have done it. And nobody did anything. It was a full subway. It was rush hour. And everyone just looked, but nobody said anything. Even though I was loud and clear about what happened. I've been kissed by friends, not just a peck on the lips. No, I have, like, had people push me over and hold me down. And um, I made up excuses, like one time I was in the Nome Bang. And this guy just suddenly started kissing me and I was like, oh, oh, I really need some fresh air. So I ran up the stairs, I almost fell over. And thank God I ran into my friend who made up an excuse to get me out of that situation. The other time was in a taxi, a driving taxi, and I couldn't get out because I was on the other side of the, like I wasn't closest to the street to get out of. So he had to get out first and it was close to my home as well. Um, I made him buy me water and I ran home. I ran home and I haven't talked to him since. Both of those guys. Um, and these are just some examples of, thank God, just sexual harassment. Um, but it ha could have been much worse and I unfortunately know multiple people that have had worse happen to them even here in Korea, even though Korea is supposed to be this absolutely safe country, but it's not. And um, I just want to give you guys some information that, that I was able to give to my friends when they were in that situation. And I want to share that information with you guys. So if anyone of you will ever be in this type of situation, you know what to do next and you won't be as overwhelmed, as scared as I have been. So the first thing you need to do is of course call the alarm line. Now, if I look down, it's because I have my laptop with me because I want this information to be clear. Um, first thing you need to do, of course, after this happens, call the police. Call the emergency number is 112. Even if you don't speak Korean, it's fine. They provide translation for you. So I think that option would be the best. Then there is a second number. You can also contact the Soul Crisis Intervention Center for Women and Children. And their phone number is 02. 3672-0365 and if you're in immediate danger call 1366 I will of course link all of these numbers below and I will put them in my website as well then another thing you should do is contact your embassy of the country where you're from because unfortunately I've heard of cases where the police didn't believe the girls or didn't do enough or it seemed like they didn't do enough and usually if there's pressure from your local embassy um, the police might be able to do a little bit more work or work a little bit harder then also bring a native Korean speaker with you to the police station because even though they're supposed to provide translation things might be able might get lost in translation and uh, yeah having a native korean speaker with you even if you're comfortable with your korean in situations like that you never know what's going to happen so it's best to have like someone you trust that can translate for you another thing is like if you get sexually harassed 
take pictures of the person and if it happens in the subway station where it unfortunately happens a lot um, remember the subway the time of the subway the subway station and the subway card because then they can check this now another important thing is to get yourself to a hospital or a center ASAP now there is the sunflower center or Hebamigi center where you can go and as far as I'm aware you can get like counseling and they will help you with everything for free but you have to make a report to the police but they will help you with that if you don't want to report to the police but you still want counseling um, my school has free counseling but it's only for its own students they have a women's center where you can go to and receive free counseling so if you're a student in Korea you might want to check out if your school also offers free counseling for you and um, I also received information of an English speaking counselor um, and I will link that one down below as well because I can't remember it on off the top of my head and then the last thing I want to make you guys aware of is the subway app and unfortunately it's only in Korean but there is a subway app that I will link and put pictures of on the screen um, and if something happens to you you can press the little alarm button and they will contact someone for you or you can at least make a, a claim right at that very moment because it's right in the subway app it's like embedded there's like a little alarm button and you can click it and I tried to click it but then I was like shit nothing actually happened to me so I'm not sure like I cannot test it for you because I don't know what will happen like will they call the police or not I will do a little bit more research and if I found more I will also put it in my blog post um, but yeah these are the most important things um, to remember take pictures of the guy don't shower go straight to the doctor or go to a clinic or go to the sunflower center contact your embassy contact the police contact a friend that you trust I think that's also very important um, so you can talk about it and like I don't want to scare you with these stories it's just something that you have to be aware of um, if you have any other helpful information please leave it in the comments down below and I will update my website every time I receive helpful information because I want to keep this as up to date as possible and if you have any stories to share please feel free um, with that being said, keep in mind that some people might not be as friendly about it. Some people might be like, but it's because of you. It's never because of you. Things like this don't happen because of you. It happens because the world, the society these days gives men the power over women. And they make use of that, unfortunately. And us women have to stand up. And we have to make sure this doesn't happen to us and that these people get the punishment they deserve. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this a video a thumbs up if you liked it. And like I said before, if you have any useful information, please share it down below because that will be great. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!